Hey guys, welcome back to Southern Balance. Uh, today I'm going to make a skateboard light. I'm actually going to make three of them, but I'm going to focus mainly on one just so I can film it, just to show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I invite uh, you and other people to subscribe to my channel. Please share my channel. Uh, I'm always going to make things out of nothing, make things that will cost you five to ten dollars to make, or you can sell to you know to about for a hundred dollars. Anybody that does like craft shows, flea markets, things like that, this is going to be the channel for you. All I'm asking is that you're a little bit patient with me because my videos are like very far between and I apologize, but I work a lot. So um, anyway, let's get it started. Let me show you what I'm doing. Um, start out by showing you, uh, this is what I have right now. I've already taken the skateboard. I've already taken the wheels off of it. Uh, I had to prep this just a little bit just for the fact that I'm filming. I've already drilled a hole here in the middle, but I'm going to go over that with you step by step. We're going to use these lamp um, socket kits that you can buy in Home Depot. They're about two dollars each. There's actually a different pigtail design that you can buy that might make your job a little bit easier, but uh, you're going to be into this skateboard build for like a little bit more money than that. So I try to keep my costs way down and maximize the profits. So uh, anyway, what we're going to do is, being that I've already taken the wheels off, after you take the wheels off you get this piece. It's actually, it goes underneath the trucks, okay, like that. So what you're going to do you can see it on the camera okay so uh, what you're gonna do is we're gonna cut uh, this is a three inch piece of wood we're gonna cut we're gonna cut this out like this we're gonna cut this and we're gonna all the work's gonna be done right here so I'm just gonna show you step by step and uh, we're gonna make an awesome skateboard light and uh, hope that hopefully you'll enjoy the video so uh, follow along okay so you can see that we're gonna use this uh, little spacer that comes underneath the wheels we're going to use it as our little uh, guide here. We're going to just transfer this pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line like this. And we're just going to go cut this off. And I'm, I'm going to make... Well, actually, for now, because I'm filming it, I'm just going to focus all my attention on one. And I'll put the rest of it together in the background. So let me go cut this right now. And I'll show you how it works. Okay, so after we've cut our piece of wood, we put our little um, spacer thing on here. And we're going to mark... Um, visually, you know, it doesn't have to be like exact exact, although it just kind of does, <laughs> if that makes sense. We've got to transfer these. We're going to put a hole here, not a hole, but a little marking, okay, on each one, what appears to be the middle, okay, whoops, okay, okay, so after we've done that, we're going to get a little speed square, and we're just going to give this a, try to line that up, and give this we just need it to get as close to straight as we can. Okay, on each one. Okay, so then after we've done that, what we're going to come back and do is we're going to we're going to go for the middle. So really, this is going to be the bulk of the work. Um, it's going to be all in this piece of wood right here. Okay. And after we've done that, now we're going to do a line across the middle. So at this point, this is what you should end up with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our tape measure, and we're going to measure one inch. Okay. So one inch is here. And one inch is here. Okay, so at that point, we're going to drill, we're going to drill a hole, see this doesn't exactly line up, so we're, you know, this has to, this is going to match up to the skateboard, you know, when we put, when we put this on top, this is where these wheels were on this particular brand, so we're, we're, as long as we're like within that hole where we can still get a screw in there, then we can do it, and I have to tell you, um, sometimes I encounter 
uh, skateboards where the wheels are not even on all that straight because I've put a speed square up to it. So again, I'm, even though these lines are not exact, we're going to try to just shoot for the mi middle of those because if we have to adjust the hole a little bit on the skateboard just to make this fit, then we're going to do that. So this is just like a guide so we know we're very, very close. Okay, and then we're going to make a mark for our one inch. Another mark for our one inch. Okay, and then we're going to turn around and do the middle. Okay, so at this point, this is what you should have. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill, we're going to drill each one of these out. And uh, let me tell you the size bit we're going to use. Okay, guys, we're going to drill this block of wood that we transferred our pattern to. We're going to be using a 1364 inch um, drill bit, and we're going to we're going to drill these four. We're, we're not going to deal with the other ones just yet. Okay, so after we've drilled all four of our holes, we're going to change out the drill bit. We're going to put in an eighth inch bit and we're going to drill these other two holes out. So just step by step. Okay, so now we're going to drill our one eighth. Okay, now we're going to change the drill bit out again and we're going to exchange it with to a Forstner bit. All right, so we've installed our Forstner bit. That's gonna be our little sacrificial piece of wood. We're gonna drill the middle out. This is gonna be a half inch Forstner bit. So guys, at this point, this is what you should have. We've drilled all four of the corner holes. We drilled an eighth inch bit. Uh, in the middle and then we did our half inch uh, forstner bit cut out so let's clean it up and we'll move on to the next step okay so the next step this is a jig that i made i use this on my pendant lights that you'll see in another video although i didn't use this in the video but it doubles as my pendant light jig jig and it also doubles as what i use for the skateboards you're going to need two pieces of pvc five and a half inches long and what we're going to do is we're going to drill a Forstner bit hole right in the middle. So first we have to mark the middle of this piece right here. Okay, so as you can see, it's a five and a half inch piece. And that's also going to tell us that the middle of that is going to be two and three quarters. So we're going to come around here and we're going to mark two and three quarters right there. So that's the middle. Okay, so we're going to drill our hole right here or a forcing a bit okay so after we do that get this thing cleaned up get this out and we'll move on to the next step Okay, so the next step, what we're going to do, we're going to do a few different things. We're going to take our PVC, and we're going to take our block of wood, and we're going to, we're going to drill these holes out. But, you know, it's real hard to hold this, you know, it's hard to hold the whole thing steady. So I took this piece of sponge that I got, I use it repeatedly. I shove it in here, like this. I match this hole up in the middle, as best I can. This is a half inch dowel rod, okay? So I'm gonna put this in here like this. So now this doesn't have wobble to it. I mean, I'm, I'm moving it so you, so you can see it, but it, it's not flopping around in there. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on top. You could have actually just put the dowel rod through that, but I'm just showing you step by step. So this could be turned this way and it could be turned this way. So what's gonna happen once we mount that, our, our lights would not be straight on the skateboard. They, I'm just showing you how they, it could be crooked, but if we put this, down like this and then you hold this flat to the table okay and now we're going to drill this out we're going to be going straight directly into the into the pvc so let's drill that out now
these holes are going to be straight, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take this out, like this, pull it out, and this is what we're left with, okay? So now we're going to screw this onto here, and we're going to mount the whole thing up. So you guys, what you know that I like to do here, I like to take a Phillips head bit, and I'm going to use it on here, and we're just going to countersink. It's that easy, okay? Okay, pretty simple. Okay, so this is what you should end up with at this point, okay? So um, we're going to mount this on here. We're going to see how that fits, and then we're going to paint the whole thing up, and then we're going to move on to the electrical part, okay? Okay, so what we're going to use to mount this is we're going to use some quarter inch coarse thread, inch and a quarter inch sheetrock screws. So these are going to go in like this. We're just going to screw them in just a little bit. Just until you can see the tip coming out, okay? Just barely sticking out. Take the other one. Okay. Once they're sticking out just a little bit, we're going to match this up, okay? So that, see how it goes right in there? So it's pretty simple, okay? And look, look at the, look at the hole in the middle. I don't know if the camera can focus on it. It goes right in, okay? Where the dowel rod was, it goes straight, straight through. Okay, so now we're going to screw these down. Okay, so then that, that's what you got, okay? I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's, it's pretty darn straight. So what we've done is we've remade the trucks. So we're going to go ahead and disassemble it. We're going to paint the whole thing up, and then we'll move on to the electrical part of it. And, you know, somebody else might want to do the electrical and then paint the whole thing at once, but I don't like having my lamp sockets in here when I paint it, so I like painting it first. But that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to use this Rust-Oleum. It's a two times ultra cover, that's what I like to use. I went ahead and put my PVC on a hanger. We're going to hang it. I didn't want it sitting flat because I didn't want to have to flip it over later and paint the bottom. So we're just going to paint that and then we're going to hang it up. So we're going to see if we can get, you know, both sides all at the same time. Okay. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. So now we're going to hang this up and let it dry, and off camera I'm going to do the, this to the rest of them that I'm building all at once. Okay, so now that we have all of those painted up, now we're going to paint the block of wood and we're going to do all sides at the same time. Okay. Okay guys, so hopefully you can see that. I don't know if I was holding it in the angle of the camera or not, but I definitely was trying. You can see it's nice and black. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to go hang this up and then off camera, let me go paint all the rest of them. And then we're going to come back and we'll uh, move on to the next step. So while that's drying, we're going to use this other piece just so I can explain to you what I'm doing because the rest of them are all drying. We're going to take this lamp socket that we bought at Home Depot. These are about $2.39 each. We're going to unscrew the back. Well, let me show you what we're going to do first. What we're going to do is we have to um, okay. We have to drill this cap out. Not drill it. We have to um, cut into this cap. We're going to cut it like here and here. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. It's really simple. Maybe if I take this off, I can explain better. We're going to take this off. Okay. So when this uh, you take this off like this, it's pretty easy. This goes into here. Not a problem. But this. This does not fit in here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to ground this edge down just a little bit, just about up to these points. So it doesn't even have to be a lot. We're just going to do this on the um, on the sander, and I'll show you how this whole thing fits in here. Because when the wires come off of here, they can't come out and go that way. It'll never fit in here this way, actually. So the wires have to come straight back. So we're going to have to grind this down, and I'll show you on camera. Okay, so we're all set up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grind this edge off. We're going to turn the sander on. You might not be able to hear me, but I'm just going to be rotating it like this as I take this edge off. And then 
I don't know if I'll leave the camera on for the whole time, but I'll show you the final finished product. But let's get that going. Okay, so once we've grinded this down, okay, we've grinded, we ground down all around here. I'll show you how we're going to put this on here, like this. And now you're going to see how it fits. See how it fits in? It, it wouldn't go in before. Okay, so now what we're going to do, okay, I'm just going to show you. See this, see this ring in here? This is what's going to touch the wires. So we can't destroy that, but we're going to have to cut into this outer ring. But we can't go as we can't go too deep to go into that ring. So we're gonna put this back on here like this. Okay. And we're gonna tighten it down to its tightest point. So I, mean, I can still move it, but we're gonna give it its tightest point. Okay, where you just you you know you can't go anymore because you don't want to break it. And we're gonna mark. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna grind into this. And and it has to end up where this and these these two holes are going to line up with the cut that we're going to make into this. So right now we're going to take a sharpie marker and we're going to mark those spots. Okay, so we have our sharpie. It doesn't matter if you're on this side. It doesn't matter if it's on this side. It just has to be where the. It can't be this one and this one. Those are that's the same pole. So we need to take the two that are closest together. Okay, so we're just going to mark right here going to mark here we can just go ahead and color that okay so we know we're going to grind that off and then we know that we're going to grind this off to here okay fill that in okay so let me show you how we're going to we're just going to grind that off pretty simple okay so i've set you up over here by the grinder so we're going to take this cap off it's just hard to show you i don't have a lot of room in the camera but let's see if we take this off and then we're going to take our marks which was right here and right here and we're going to grind into the corner of this wheel like this, so hopefully you'll be able to watch me do that. guys at this point your cap should look like that okay so if you notice we did not go into this ring we only cut into the outside of the cap we just need to do that so the wires can come straight back so let's go back over to the other table I'll wire one up and I'll do the rest of them off camera okay so we're gonna move to the wiring stage so what's gonna happen is we need to have enough wire where it's gonna hope oh, that's in camera it needs to start out to about here this is just the top one we're just dealing with the top one it's got to start out for about here it's gonna go you know through the through the PVC that we're gonna have so it's got to be enough to make it to the from here okay so, so it's gonna have enough wire to go from there through the PVC and the the top one we're gonna drop down further we're gonna end up like about three quarters of the way down okay so let me just get an idea of what that is let me measure that and I'll tell you how long approximately it's gonna probably vary per board but we need to um, let's just measure this and see where we ended up it I mean give or take an inch it's not gonna make a big difference but that happens to be approximately 16 inches okay so if you cut 16 inches you're good okay guys so 16 inches right there Okay, so obviously you're going to need two pieces at 16 inches so you, cause you're, because you're going to come from both sides and you're going to bring it down here. But again, just for camera purposes, I'm just going to work with one, and then, and then, but I'll wire the whole thing up together once everything is finished drying. Okay, so at this point in time, we're going to move the board out of the way. We're going to bring our lamp fixture over here, and we're going to split this open right here. Okay, so we're just going to just open this up. Just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> the guys, let me tell you, there's two sides to this. So there's going to be one side, if you look real close, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it has a whole bunch of little lines in there, like splines, okay? So we're going to call that the neutral, and we're going to call that the gold side. I don't know if you can see it in the lighting outside, but this side is gold, this side is silver. So we're going to put the gold 
to the splines and we're going to put the silver I mean I'm sorry the part with the without the splines on the other side okay so the way we're going to do that is we're going to put it down in here like this and we're going to mash this down because it has a little pin in here like a point like that it's got like a point and the point has to go up into this wire and make contact okay so just make sure so we're going to go ahead just for um, insurance purposes we're going to push down a little extra hard we're going to make sure that it goes through that plastic because i would hate to wire one of these up and get all the way to that point and then find out i'm not making contact okay so then we're going to take the part if you can see the shape that i made that let me put it there so you can see the shape okay we're going to put it on here like this Spin it, spin it. Okay, so it's tightening up. Let's so watch this. Oh, another time. Okay, so hey, it ended up on this side, so I put the wires on the wrong side. Not a big deal. So it could happen. So we're gonna take this, okay? So we're gonna flip it, but don't forget we need we need the gold. It's okay, it happens, okay? So we're gonna go just like that. Just push that down, make sure it makes contact. Okay. Put this back on. Okay, that's at its tightest point. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it in the lighting, but what we're going to do is this is going to end up coming straight back like this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to feed this inside of the black one. This one's not drilled. That was the one that's painted. But we're going to feed it inside like this. Okay, and we're going to let that wire come out where we drilled that Forstner bit hole, but I'm just showing you how that works. So it's going to be like this. Okay, so it's going to be like that. Okay, so we're going to go do that to the black one and we're going to get the whole thing set up. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this wire, we're going to put it through here. We're just going to aim for this hole right here. Put it in there. You can use your other finger on the inside to guide it in. Like that. It's going to go in like that. Pretty simple, okay? Then we're going to take our the trucks that we made and we're going to put it on top. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Put it on top like that. So now we're going to screw this whole thing. You can see my screw holes line up and everything. So let me screw this up. But I have to do all of them. I need to do the other side. So let, let me go do that real fast. And then we'll proceed to the next part. I'm just trying to show you step by step. All right. So at this point, your what you should have right now should look like this. Okay. So you have both of them wired up. We've brought our wires through. We've drilled this down into the PVC. So we've actually just remade our trucks is what we've done. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take our wire. Oh, you know what? I skipped this step because I had already pre-drilled. But when we, in the very beginning of the video, we put an X right here. And so I drilled, when we had the Forstner bit out, I drilled this out. I mean, I did that yesterday, actually, on both of them, top and bottom. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to feed it through. Okay, like this. So at this point, this is what it should look like, okay? So now we're going to screw this down. So uh, I like to use these screws. It's one by half inch. These are made out of zinc. They're machine screws. And so, of course, you'll have to measure your thickness and everything. But uh, So we're just going to open this up. You'll need two packs because you're going to need four per side. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take the screws like this. 
okay it's like a pan head and it has a little nut for it we're gonna put it through like this you can see it and then it comes through the top okay so we're gonna take our nut and put it on here you'll probably need a screwdriver to hold the other side but that's basically what we're gonna do okay on all of them okay guys I still have to tighten it up that's basically what it's gonna look like so it gives you a pretty good idea now I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom one on uh, we're gonna, then we're gonna work on the back, okay? So, but you with me up to this point. It's just step by step, that's all it is. It's pretty simple. Okay, guys, so this is where we're at. I had to switch boards. I told you I was building three. We had to switch boards. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this one right here is the one that we started on. I was gonna switch to this one, but it turns out that the trucks are not dry. So this is the one we're gonna concentrate on. And what I mean by not dry is what I forgot to tell you earlier is that when we put these uh, light sockets in here, uh, we, I had to put some glue in there and I had to put a clamp on here to hold that together until they dry. Th this set seems like it's pretty dry and these trucks were designed for this board so we're gonna we're gonna just concentrate on that for now and I'll come and I'll put the other ones together in a little while and I'll just, when they're all three of them are done, I'm gonna show them all to you when they're all lit up and everything. So for now, and it's unfortunate I cut these wires shorter because I was running out of wire but Anyway, let's see uh, step by step how it's going to turn out. So let me it's here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this like this. We're going to put it through the hole again like we did earlier. Like that. The other thing I was going to mention, uh, what you can do is you can get some of this foam this is like the noodles and you can take a knife and you can just cut it like this okay and you can open that up and you can put that on top of the trucks the only reason why I haven't done that yet because I still want to get the screws in here so we're going to concentrate on doing that first and then we're going to protect them because then we have to flip the board over Okay, so once we're at this point, now we're gonna flip the board over like this. So now that we see that we're protected, the trucks are not gonna get scratched. I'm gonna go like this, okay. So now we're gonna wire this up. All right, so what I did a little while ago, earlier we were talking about the splines. I was trying to make this easier for you on camera. So this is the side of the splines. So what I did a few minutes ago is I just highlighted the one with the splines on each one. Actually, I did that before I had even put the trucks on because I don't wanna to forget to show you. So I did that on each one. So we're just going to make sure, without having to look at them real carefully, which ones are the which ones are the ones with the splines on it. So obviously it'd be that one. Okay. So we know it's this one. We know. Oh look, I forgot to do that one too. Okay. You know it's that one. Okay. So that's one set. That's one set. Okay. And then I've already done it on this one. I've done it on. We're going to do it on this one. Okay, so we're just going to put all those colored ones together. All right. So we're going to do like that. Twist these together. Grab this one over here. Put that one together. Okay. So those are all the ones with the colored ends. Those are all the neutral. We're going to put a wire nut on that. Make that nice and tight. We're going to take this other one. Bring these together. Like that. This is because I didn't have enough wire on that one piece. Then this is like a separate piece. That's why I'm having to do it like this. Had I had that one longer piece, uh, we could have just made one connection. Okay, some electrical tape. Put it around here like this. Okay, 
Okay guys, so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to use one of my pendant light kit cords. These come complete with a on and off switch made onto the cord. I went ahead and I tied a knot in here. Okay, so we put a knot and I'll show you why because I'm going to do the back of mine different from someone else. So um, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take the two ends that I made black with the splines on it. We're going to take this one that you can see has the splines. We're going to put that together like this. Twist that all up. Okay, so at this point we're going to take some duct tape and we're going to just put a couple of pieces on here. You're never going to see this. Some people could just duct tape the back and leave it like that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually finish mine out with wood because I think it looks good. So all we're going to do is just get this to hold it down as best as we can, even if it's not great because a piece of wood is going to go over it. Okay, so this doesn't have to be great. Okay, so I know that that looks messy, but you're never going to see any of that. That's just, just to hold it so it just doesn't go side to side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the board and we're going to measure. We're going to measure from right here where the curve starts to right here where the curve starts. We're going to see what that comes to or where we feel comfortable in cutting some wood. Okay. So it looks like it's 21, but you don't want, we don't want to go up on the, so maybe we're going to do like 20 and a half or 10, 20 and a quarter, something like that. So I'll just judge. So we're going to go cut a piece of two by four and we're going to put some 45 degree angles on it. So let me go do that now. Okay. So I've cut the two by four. I've branded it, put our name on it. I've cut our 45 degree angles and I've sanded down the whole thing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut an, a notch in here on the side so the cord can come through. So we're gonna, it's gonna end up getting mounted like that, okay? So we're gonna cut a, a little notch in here and then we're gonna cut this channel out right here. I kind of drew it on there. So we're gonna cut that out with a, a, a router bit. All right guys, so really, all we're really gonna do is just kind of eyeball the middle. I'm just gonna call it like right there, you're not even gonna, like that's gonna end up coming out. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna raise the blade a little bit, because we only want it to go in, not that much. So that's gonna be right there. So then we're gonna bring our, and we're gonna put it about right there. Okay, so let's cut that now. Alright guys, so I cut into it kind of deep, but now we're going to cut a channel out, and it's going to be for the wiring, so let's move on to the next step. Alright guys, so the next step, we're going to take a Forstner bit, and all we're going to do is just countersink a hole in here, only so we can get our router bit in there, and start it from that point. Okay, so at this point, we're going to take this little jig I made. It's really, you know, nothing. It fits a 2 by 4 We're going to put it at the end of the table like this. So let me so let me screw that down, and then we're going to get our router, and we're going to route out the back of that 2 by 4 Now, somebody else probably would not have to go this far with it, but, you know, I sell these for like $100, so I want mine to look really good. All right, guys, so we have our router bit loaded. Uh, I didn't put the depth, you know, really deep to put it just kind of shallow just so we can get it started. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a channel out. It's going to look kind of like this. Okay. To about right there. Okay. Just more or less. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. All we're trying to do is fit the wiring in there.
all right guys you can see that's not perfect by any means but it doesn't have to be because we're just going to put we're just going to bury the wires in here all i have to do is check and see if i've cut that deep enough so we're going to find that out now so we're basically just going to take this out of the jig i don't know if you can really see how deep i cut it so then we're going to take that we're going to uh and i will get all the sawdust off there but we're going to take it and see if it fits in here and see the cord is going to go into that slot like that so we're going to see if that's fitting down in there so it looks like it would fit but my my knot's not fitting in here that good All right guys, so I actually had to route it out again. I had to go even deeper because apparently my wire nuts and everything, it just wasn't fitting in the channel. But we're going to get it, you know. Okay guys, so now we know that it fits. Everything fits good. You can see it's flat to the board. So now I'm gonna stain this and then I'm gonna even put some polyurethane or wipe on polyurethane on there because again I sell these for a lot of money if you were just making your own you want to hang it in your room you don't even have to do this you can just put duct tape on the back and forget about it but you know I'm, I make mine look really professional and really nice so let's move on to the staining stage of this all right so we've got our board with our name on it we've got it stained we did a little bit of wipe on polyurethane I've got the wire uh, you know sticking out so now we're just gonna tack it down with a couple of brad nails to hold it steadily in place and then I'm gonna put a you know a couple of screws in there uh, you have to make sure let's see if I can show you you have to make sure where your wires are if you can see the wires because you don't want to hit the wires so we're gonna aim for like the last two inches of the board on the bottom and about the top two so we're gonna make sure like we're gonna put screws here and here but on the, on the back side of it so anyway, step by step it's really not that complicated it just seems complicated doing it on film it's pretty easy actually So at this point, you want to make sure that your board is straight. Okay, so I see that mine is. Okay, so now I'm going to tack the, the bottom. So that's that's basically it but you know just for safekeeping purposes we're gonna we're gonna put a screw in here all right guys so I put the covers back on okay and we're going to do that because we're going to flip it over and I'm going to put a hanging bracket right here and then I'm going to go ahead and hang it up or stand it up so you can see it and then we're going to, I already got some light bulbs out here, we're going to plug in the light bulbs and we're going to fire it up and we're going to see how it looks. Now again, when I do these at work, these are hanging in my shop, I usually put multicolored bulbs in there and I always use LED. But uh, for now, we're just going to see what it looks like with white because all my color bulbs are at work. But uh, let me go ahead and add the hanging bracket and then we'll, we'll turn it on. We'll see what it looks like. And I might add one more scene to the end of this and I might show you all three of them completely built all at the same time. But we'll, that remains to be seen. But uh, just follow along. Okay, so we're going to add a hanging bracket and we need to make sure that it's straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a speed square. We're going to put the speed square on here like this. We're going to draw a line. Okay, we're going to take our hanging bracket, so we know our line is straight, put it like this, I can see the line through the holes, okay, so we're going to make a mark here, 
and we're gonna make a mark here. Okay, so then that's where our screws are gonna go. Okay, so there's our hanging bracket and we know it's straight. All right guys, so let's turn this over. Put some light bulbs in here. Or actually, let me hang this up on the inside of the shop or maybe it's a little bit darker and you can see it. All right guys, so I've got my entire area cleaned up. Uh, the trucks turned out to be dry enough to go ahead and do all the wiring, so I did that off camera. I turned my table sideways and I've mounted all three of the skateboards here. Uh, so that's what they look like. I'm gonna, um, I've got them all plugged into this little um, adapter thing here. So we're gonna put some electricity to it. Hopefully they're all gonna come on. We need some good luck here. Uh, I will mention this one, the blue one's gonna have LED bulbs in it. These two are gonna have uh, regular light bulbs. Uh, keep in mind, uh, two of the boards I got in heavy trash. The other one I picked up at Goodwill for $3. So uh, this is going to be a really cheap build, and I sell these for $100 in my shop without a problem. I've sold them repeatedly. So uh, just kind of watch along and give me some good luck, because hopefully they're all going to turn on. All right, let's see. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Isn't that cool? So, anyway, follow along, subscribe to my page, share my page. Um, I will always build something out of nothing. I'll always show you how to build things that you can build for 5 to $10 and sell it for like a lot of money. Um, and I'm going to always going to walk you through it step by step. So follow along. I appreciate you watching. Stick with me because I don't put my videos out every week. It might be every couple of months. But stick with me because you're going to see some cool things coming up. All right, guys.